there is a question in in uh, relation to that where it's would be how your approach differs to writing something for television or film to to an interactive media where there aren't set cues and of course you have touched on this here and there but if if there's if there's a one grandiose approach or, or if your initial take is different if you're coming first with tone and then placements versus placements you know and specific cues specific scenes um or how they how the the game designers and you know produce uh, approach you to write a score for interactive media because it is a different um yeah, strategy yeah. Well, and bear in mind too, there are what they call cinematics or uh, cut scenes in games. So in fact, you do score a picture in games. And there was, in this game, there wasn't a lot of cut scenes. There were a couple, I think, but mostly it was uh, that were to picture were like the scripted events. They were pretty much almost like scored to, to, to what you were seeing visually. But yeah, that was the shock, Bioshock, no. That was the shock when I first started scoring games like, they're asking me to write these three minute combat cues and there's it's not to picture it's just like okay here's some gameplay video this is what it looks like when you're in combat but you're not catching anything you're just creating this mood you know sort of like beethoven writing the pastoral symphony it was just like you know you're 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 writing music that fits a a, a, a moment but you're not cut locked to picture so it was a challenge and and it, it at first it's i think if you have been scoring picture all your life and then all of a sudden you're asked to do this it's a challenge you're almost writing it, it, it's more akin to writing a concert piece in a way but i've gotten very comfortable with it because it but it did take some time and you're basically you know as what the inspiration as i say is the deadline <laughs> you have to actually write the music so you just you just start working and writing and you i do locked to the gameplay remember i'm in la i'm a contracted composer i'm not in-house so uh and very often almost every time it seems like it's some company that is not in la so they're sending me gameplay footage someone is playing the game at the studio in its current you know, it, as you can see, some of that footage was very primitive and funky looking. It, it looks terrible, but that's what that's what they sent me, and that's what I had. So I had to had to use what I had. And of course, you'd see that in animation in a film where you get very funky looking animation, and then it, it ends up looking gorgeous in the end. But you're scoring to that. So you know, they send me, someone plays the game and they capture the game play, and then they send it to me. So I have that locked picture, knowing that I'm not catching anything. And then I use that to inspire the place, the, the vibe, the look, you know, if you're outside in the city in the sky versus under the sea in a dark, damp, you know, environment, it's it's just different and it, and it feels different. And, I, and then I just intuitively go for it and write, write, you know, whatever they ask. Usually they ask for a certain length of uh, music, you know, one minute, two minute, three minute piece of music, usually on the, between one and two and two and a half minutes. And then there's also interactive techniques that you have to keep in mind if it's a looping cue, if, if, then you have to make sure that the cue loops. If it's not a looping cue, maybe it's a layered cue, then you, of course, as I just described, the layering techniques that you have to keep in mind. So you do have to become aware of and comfortable with these techniques. I don't think it requires a genius to, to get comfortable with them and to do them. I didn't know anything about looping cues or whatever, but if you, I guess if you think about looping, as like a repeat sign in classical music, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's really just a piece of music that seamlessly loops. And that is still the most common interactive technique, um, but layering and crossfading between cues, et cetera. So hopefully I answered that question. <laughs>